lecture i am going to discuss what how to update identity column in microsoft sql server so here i am using the table emp3 so this place emp3 table is there so first going to create the identity column so order table emp3 and id int type and here you need to use identity keyword now when you execute to this query so here you can see command completed successfully and now this place the column id identity column that's created the value that is start from one total rows is now or 18 so here you can see 18 that's come there now thereafter we need to add the primary key so let's give here pk mp4 so constant add constant pk mp4 and here you can see when i click on this design here id is not a primary key currently now after executing this query so this do the changes and there that add the primary key on id columns now if i go on this emp3 click on this design here id this is now primary key and after that the next is since this place identity here when i execute to this tables so you can see here id is now adding this place is there so that going to do the changes so dbcc check ident emp3 reset and here 20 that going to do the changes or let's give here 25 this place now or 25 so currently it, uh, it was 18 now this change and here or uh, this is now new identity value is now 25 so when i execute to this query inserting some records one rows affected since there i have given 25 so new identity value that is start from 26 so here you can see this is now that is now 26 that's come there so whenever you insert some record here that is start from 26 then one by one that increase so the extra that is now 27 so 27 and execute here you can see this is now 27 or oh, that's come there 7002 is the 27 okay now let's so reset again so going to give you this time 30 giving this place or here you can see there is the gap so this giving go or this place 18 18 giving and the new identity value that inserted from the 19 okay so let's execute to this query so that's 20 it was 27 now that become here identity 19 so when i run this insert a statement this time giving id value or uh, here that's inserted and now let's execute so this times here you can see i have given the 18 so this is time 7003 that's new identity value is now 19 that's come there okay so this is the way we can do the update of identity columns in microsoft sql server so i hope guys this video is the helpful for you so now this video is over so thanks for watching see you next week thank you